House Speaker Nancy Pelosi today repeating her claim about deadly drugs and the irrelevancy of it all on our southern border. It's all under control, she says. The president talks about drugs coming into our country. 90% of the drugs come through the ports of entry. You know, not so. Give her four Pinocchios if you're the Washington Post, whatever, but uh, you really should, if you're the Speaker of the House, not be throwing out nonsense like that. The data, she says, uh, uh, she bases her claim on, is from the U.S. Customs and Border Protection. Uh, they didn't say 90% of the drugs coming into the country go through ports of entry. What they said was that the percent of heroin is 90% seized along the border in the first 11 months of the fiscal year caught at legal crossing points. Now, we don't know how much heroin and cocaine and meth and fentanyl uh, marijuana is coming across the border uh, because all of those vast stretches of the border don't have a wall. As a matter of fact, vast stretches and I'm talking about hundreds and hundreds of miles, don't have border patrol agents. The key word there is caught. Pelosi is forgetting about the tens of thousands of mules and coyotes who make a run across that border each and every year. Her comments uh, akin to saying 90% of bank robbers are caught at banks. Joining me now, Tom Holman, former acting director of Immigration and Customs Enforcement, Fox Business contributor. Great to have you with us, Tom, and Dr. Sure. Sebastian Gorka, Fox Business, national security strategist, host of America First on the Salem Radio Network. Seb, great to have you here. Let me start, Tom, with you. Uh, this is, I, I, it's, it's mindless. Not a single reporter questioned her about that comment about 90% of drugs going through the ports of entry. Uh, that is just ludicrous. Well, it's ludicrous because she's talking about most of the drugs that are seized. Of course they're going to be seized at a port of entry. they got a couple yeah. hundred inspectors there looking at every vehicle that comes across. It's the poorest border that comes across. I personally seized 221 kilos of cocaine in a truck that crashed through a barbed wire fence about 30 miles away from the port of entry, and Border Patrol seizes drugs every day coming across that yeah. poorest border. Yeah. It's, she's comparing apples and oranges, which is typical. Well, apples and oranges, and all of them are rolling across the border, Seb. I, I mean, can you imagine the mindlessness of what the Speaker of the House said as if dismissing the wall because we only have Border Patrol agents, you know, confiscating contraband uh, at the ports of entry, uh, or most of them? Well, look, you, you look, said earlier. Just, Go ahead, Seb. No, I, either she's an imbecile or she's a liar. The fact is, she couldn't care less about border security. Uh, she wants to have her way. She wants to have illegal aliens come across the border to be turned into Democrat voters. Well, how concerned party... should how, how concerned should we be, Seb? I mean, she has just whipped the president of the United States in this. No, uh, no, no, stop, 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 and then I'll let you finish. <laughs> I, you, you know, I'm a, a animated, uh, energetic supporter of this president. Yes. But you've got to call it as it is. This president said it was going to be conditional border security, building that wall, and he just reversed himself. That's a victory for Nancy Pelosi. It will be perceived as such on every television monitor uh, and screen in the country. And to deny it is to try to escape from reality. And that we ain't going to do here. It may be perceived as such, but Lou, remember, this is for three weeks. As far as I'm concerned, this is a masterstroke because this is a standoff that has been extended for three weeks. The government will shut down again, but the president, ignore what Nancy said I, today because that's just garbage. The president gets the pre his oh, State of whoa, the Union whoa, address. Whoa, 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 what she said today is garbage. You're talking, about yes. the, you're talking about the woman who's now the queen of the hill, partner. You know what? <laughs> in her, in, in her she, own mind. In uh, maybe her in own her mind, own mind, but on this broadcast, she's the winner. And I'll tell you why, okay? <laughs> the President of the United States made a condition precedent that that border funding would be there. He withdrew that condition precedent. The government is opening, and he is, is turning over this issue to the conference committee. Uh, 
of the home. Uh, I mean, it's just. Luke, can I can I just say one thing? Sure, that, you can say several things. But that but be sure you include condition. Tom in the conversation. I love well, Tom. Tom is one of the best fighters for national security out there. Um, that condition was based upon going back to government functioning as normal, which is not what the president gave Nancy today. He didn't cave and say, we're okay. going back to normal spending. He said three weeks, Lou. That's very important. And he gets the State of the Union where he can speak he to the American people. He gets a State people. of the Union address? Well, I think you just reinforced her standing as the Queen of the Hill. No, no, no. She let is me, dispensing let, let me, the State of the Union. Oh, Tom, my goodness. Me, what, a, what a joy that she is let, permitting this. You know what? I got to agree with Sebastian. This. First of all, Nancy Pelosi didn't win anything. You I'm guys are so cruel. No, listen, gang up if, there's winners or losers, <laughs> if there's winners or losers in this game, the American people lost. When Nancy Pelosi does not want to secure our border, when she fails, when she hates this president more than she cares about the security of this country, she's a loser. And you can say she won this argument. Maybe she won this set of downs, but this game's long from over. I have faith in this president. I think this president's done more to protect this country than any of the six presidents I've worked for. He's already done more. That has not I've a done thing more. in and the world. He will, not fail. He not will a... not fail the American people, and I won't lose faith in him because I think he's going to fight the right fight. You guys are vicious. You won't even let me get a, a word ed ed edgewise <laughs> on my own show. Seb, let me just say it this way. I believe in the president. I think he is a, a historic figure, and I think he got rolled on this. And you can cut it any way you want, but right now at stake is the security of this country, and those borders have to have a wall, as he himself has said. And the Democrats no. say that they, and the Democrats say that there will be none. So far, they are winning the argument because he is the one who's withdrawn the condition. And, Game's if, not over. and by the way, Lou, if, you, if they I, try I have, to, have, if, well, let me just finish one sentence. <laughs> and if they have, they, the Democrats, uh, do not uh, fail to move, quote unquote, comprehensive immigration reform in the midst of this three week period, which is in 13 years, there hasn't been a thoughtful construct. You think that we're going to see this for the American people created by these people who don't even believe in securing the border? Uh, this Lou, looks I, like a I game have, I, about ready to be run on the American people. And we're going to call it exactly as it is here. Lou, I have no faith in the Democrat Party because it has been taken over by radicals or people like Nancy Pelosi who have lost their <laughs> power and have caved to the radicals. But, Lou, I make, I make a proposal to you. Let's have Tom and me back on the show February 15th. Yes. And we'll see if everybody's so negative then. Well, that depends on whether anything you say... Uh, well, even holds up reasonably as well as my projections exactly. here. Okay, you got this a deal president will not. But we don't have to American wait that people. long. This president doesn't know how to <laughs> fail. He won't fail the American people. I sure hope you're right, Tom. Thank and you, you too, Seb. Well, especially Thank Tom. You, <laughs> you too, Seb. Good to see you both. Thanks so much.